Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at the Asus ROG Ally update to Armory Crate SE. It includes AMD drivers that comes packaged with um, AMD fluid motion frames, AFMF, long awaited feature that the um, community is being waiting for. So let's just update um, Armory Crate and go through the installation process. You can see it's downloading the device and component update, hot plug controller. And part of that you can see it's MCU firmware and also the AMD Radeon graphics driver and that's got the AMD fluid motion frames so after the um, installation we'll also do a demo um, just show how it performs in game we'll toggle it off and see what the frames per second's like toggle it back on and see um, what kind of improved um, frames we get and what um, the frame generation lag um, that comes with um, AFMF is like so you can see the firmware update tool, completing the installation. You can see everything in Omri Crate is done installing. Just restarting the PC. You can see now we're in the updated version of um, the Adrenaline software. You can see fluid motion frames option is um, available to us. So this is just the global setting in gaming graphics. Just enable it. Obviously you'll have to disable vertical um, sync v-sync just globally um, disable it so don't do that um, frame rate target control um, so you can see this is with afmf disabled can see we're getting around 70 frames per second and now using the hot key alt shift and g you can see fluid motion frames is now active and our frames has jumped to 117 128 frames per second so it's a good improvement 70 ish to about 120 ish it's not exactly um double but it's definitely an improvement that you can appreciate and can tangibly um, see the difference and then I'll toggle it off again alt shift and G and then the display will say fluid motion frames is now disabled and now we're dropping back down to 70 mid 70 frames per second just run down the map obviously if it's not a lot going on screen it it can natively go a little higher so we're getting high 80s you can see with um, AF MF disabled even 92 frames per second and then we just alt shift and G toggling AF MF back on and then we are back up to 120 frames per second it's quite um, tangible difference um, do hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be testing the AFMF um, driver um, solution on a couple of games, Avatar, Cyberpunk, um, just to see how um, the performance we get. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for the support. Till next time. Cheers.